Porosity, a welder's only known natural predator. What causes it and how do we fight it? All right, the big metal mafia and big gas are at the root of this one. Not only are they gouging us with their pricing, but they're also sending us dirty metal and contaminated bottles. What is porosity? Porosity are little cavities inside of your weld that are caused by impurities. It can be a gas pocket, paint, dirt, rust, and just about anything on your material that isn't your material itself and your filler rod. It normally shows up as pinholes or little wormholes that you can actually see in your weld. But sometimes it's internal and just by looking at the weld you'd never know that it had porosity in there. Porosity can actually affect the structural integrity of your weld. It's a bad defect. What can you do to protect yourself from the big gas and the metal mafia? Know what material you actually have. If you have mild steel, look at it and see if it's got mill scale on it. If it's got mill scale, grind all that off. If it's cold rolled, make sure that there's no oil on it. Wipe it with some alcohol, clean it somehow. That way there's no contaminants that'll get stuck inside your weld. With aluminum, it's got an oxide layer and this oxide layer continually grows. So if anything is sitting on it for a long period of time, it'll actually embed itself into that oxide layer. So you really gotta clean it off like a wire brush. So like a lot of times your aluminum will sit outside and it'll get water on it. And that water will collect dirt and dust and whatever, algae, who knows. And once that dries off or even just sitting on it, once it's on there, that oxide layer will start to grow and it'll hold those things in there. That's why old dirty aluminum sucks to weld. And aluminum's so porous that it gets down into the crack or the pores of the metal. So you really gotta clean it. So if it's super bad, go ahead and take a DA, sand it all off, and then where you're gonna be welding, go ahead and wire brush it. If you've got new aluminum that's still got like that peel coat on it, that should be good to go just as is. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even wire brush it. It should be good. The Metal Mafia likes to cover our metal in things like WD-40 and they say it's so that our metal doesn't rust. But we both know the real reason why they do this is so that when we weld it without cleaning it off, we get porosity and then we have to throw that part out and buy even more metal. And if you're really worried about porosity or you're having problems with it, another thing to do is all your sheared edges, go ahead and sand them. Those sheared edges for some reason like to trap little pieces of whatever and they'll show up especially when you're TIG welding. Now so far this video has been mostly on the Metal Mafia and how they contribute to porosity. But they're really like the Oswald, you know, they're just the patsy. Who's the second shooter on the grassy knoll? Well that's where big gas comes in. Gas problems are the main culprit in porosity. It can be caused by a bunch of things. Anything from a draft flowing through your shop to you got a fan on and you don't realize it's pointing towards your weld, you're out of gas, you got low gas flow, or even I've seen the wrong gas. So double check for drafts. Double check that your gas isn't out, that it's not low, and that you have the correct gas for what you're welding. If you're MIG welding, generally they use C25, which is 25% CO2 and 75% argon. Another common gas for MIG welding is just pure CO2. If you're TIG welding, it's generally gonna be 100% argon. But the worst one, and the hardest one to defend against, is when big gas sends you a contaminated tank straight from the factory. It'll make you pull your hair out just trying to search and figure out what the actual problem is. And that is why Big Gas was a major contributor to the MK Ultra program. They know which buttons to push to make you go insane. Don't fall for the trap. If you've gone through all this and you're still having porosity problems, go ahead and swap out that bottle and see if it gets better. If it does, you got a contaminated bottle. Now like I said, fighting the Metal Mafia is simple. But fighting big gas is a whole nother beast. Click this video here to figure out how we can fight them using TIG cups.